We'll yeah. go with Mr. Saini first, yeah. and yeah. then we'll go to Jasmine, and then yeah. we'll come to everybody as well. So Mr. Saini first. Yeah, Mr. Paul, the perception that uh, there are so many groups in the Conservative Party, actually it's a reality, not perception. So you are being considered as a right winger. That's what your opponents are uh, telling us. So during the last two federal elections, we have seen that uh, the previous leaders, whether it was Andrew Scheer or Daniel Mutul, they couldn't connect to the new Canadians. So there are a few writings where the Conservative Party has a strong hold. Maybe it's Saskatchewan or Alberta. But you guys are <coughs> losing your grip on the new immigrants. To make a majority government or to become a prime minister of this country, you need all those writings to win. So what is your plan? Right. Connect with these people who are now a strong force here in this country. You cannot ignore them. Exactly. I have a follow-up question then. So, uh, you're right. We do need to work harder to reach out to new Canadians. I have said everywhere I go, I am a pro-immigration candidate. I have been pro-immigration my entire political career. Not only that, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't have a wife and family if I were not pro-immigration. My wife is a refugee from Latin America. And so, I welcome immigrants immigrants into our Conservative Party. We must expand our tent to make all new Canadians feel welcome. Conservative values are immigrant values, and immigra immigrant values are conservative values. Hard work, family, freedom, tradition. These are values that we share with new Canadians, and they're values upon which we need to build a future Conservative Party. So uh, you will see me do the necessary outreach and take the necessary decisions on Parliament Hill to make life better for, for new Canadians and to champion the causes that new Canadians care about. And you will see that I've said that, that, that exact same thing whether I'm talking to you in this room or whether I'm talking to the Conservative uh, base that have gathered to watch a debate. I've been asked about immigration in both English and French at the Conservative debates that we've had. And in both times, I endorsed strong uh, uh, pro-immigration policies that welcome newcomers lawfully into this country and, and remove the gatekeepers that stand in the way of their opportunities. We'll go with Jasleen next. I have just okay. follow-up question. We'll Mr. Patrick Brown just recently said that if you're elected, Mr. Trudeau will be the happiest person because the Conservative Party is going to lose definitely <coughs> once you're elected. Okay. So he's claiming he has most number of members signed. You are saying 3,200, 600,000 members who is getting how many members we are confused? Well, uh, the only one who is confused is Patrick Brown. Okay. Uh, so first of all, I told the Conservative Party, publish the numbers. Don't, don't take my word for it. I told the Conservative Party, I had my lawyer write them a public letter to say, publish the numbers of every single campaign. Because we each sold our, our numbers through our own websites. Yeah. So mine was Pierre, number four, pm.ca. And I said, dear Conservative Party, you are welcome to tell the whole world how many memberships were sold through that website. Because we know the number. It's 312,000. And we've given breakdowns by province. We reached out to Patrick's campaign. We said, would you please tell the Conservative Party to do the same thing? No, he doesn't want us to do that. And if you don't believe any of that, just ask yourself this. If Patrick Brown was so convinced he was going to win as leader, why is he still running for mayor? Okay, we'll ask him. Ask him. <laughs> is, by the way, is he running for mayor? Does anybody know? Nobody does. Does, does anybody know where he is? He has not declared yet. He, he's running for mayor. All right, you just heard the announcement. Patrick Brown has announced he's running for mayor. So how is he going to be prime minister? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jazz Leader next. 